welcome back to another studio vlog. It is Tuesday and I've just been working on orders. I've been cutting as well. Um, we had a bit of machine drama. Like it wasn't really that bad, but at the time it felt worse than it was. So I didn't really vlog last week, um, but I think we fixed it now. We were just having issues. I think it was related to the feeding, um, but we tried so many things and it was really stressful. <laughs> But um, I think a lot of the things we tweaked weren't even related to what the actual problem was. But I've been back on track cutting today. So I've been cutting the mystery because I'm actually away when the mystery ships uh, for May. So I want to try and ship it early or at least prep it and then we can ship it straight away when I get back. Or maybe Tom can ship it, I don't know. But basically I won't delay it by the fact I'm away. So I'm working on that now. I've designed one new release so far. So I've been cutting that, but I want to get two more designs done probably tonight or like early tomorrow so that they can be cutting while I'm doing other stuff. This is the release I've designed. You probably cannot see it at all. It is called Sunny Days and it's so cute. Look at the Dalmatian and these colors are just amazing. It's so summery. So I've got this like scheduled to cut next. That's another reason I haven't started the vlog is because the cutter has been going like full on since I fixed it. We did have to recalibrate it and stuff, but it actually wasn't as bad as I remember. Like I always think that's going to be a big thing, but it's literally a case of like you put this black sheet in, it will cut a little square out. You then have to weed the square and then the camera takes a picture of where the square is. So like it's really no work on my part. But while we were troubleshooting the cutter, we changed the cutting strip, which is something that I've also been dreading doing because when you take the cutting strip off, you have to like be really careful that you clean all the old adhesive off ready for the new one to go on so it can lay flat. Um, but it was really easy. I don't know if it's because our cutter is new, but when we peeled the cutting strip off, the adhesive was like also able to be just peeled right off. Like it seemed a little bit too easy. So I assume that it's just because it's not had enough time to like fully adhere to the surface of the cutter. So that's making me think maybe we ought to just change it often, like preemptively almost. Like I don't think it needed to be changed when we changed it, but it was just part of my like troubleshooting process. So maybe we should just change it like every four months or so and like avoid it getting really sticky. I don't know, they're not that expensive, but I was thinking maybe you can purchase like the cutting strips for the really big cutters and cut them down to make it like more economical. I don't know, I'm gonna see if that would work or not. But for the rest of the day, I'm gonna try and finish my orders. I've got, I haven't got the invoices near me. I've got like quite a lot left to do. I was hoping to get more done today and because I was messing with the cutter, I still have quite a lot to do and I need to go make dinner. So I'm gonna crack on with that. I'm almost done with orders. I've just got a few left. So I'm gonna finish those up. Um, apart from premium mat, because I haven't done those yet, and I have got maybe like 10 premium mat orders, which is more than usual. Although not really if there's been a sale, so I'm gonna work on those tomorrow and hopefully post orders tomorrow, but I want to do a May freebie so that I can post any orders that came in like the last couple of days. Are we? Are we? How many? How many days are we into May? Two? So yeah, I need to get the May freebie done. So hopefully try and get that done tonight or tomorrow. But yeah, let's fill an order together. Um, I won't say the customer's name because like GDPR and all that, you never really know like what you're allowed to say. Um, but this customer ordered the Beach Reader mini kit and the glitter add-on. They got the lemonade mini kit, which is this one, and the glitter add-on. And they got the lemonade monthly kit and the new sheet of like months on a page. So this is the monthly and then they got this style so like the original style i also did the other kind of font in this like sheet as well but this is the one that i've always done they also got an oops bag so here is the regular oops bag they got the resort mini kit which is so pretty i only realized today like i've done a lot of summer kits already and summer art is still coming out um they also got the resort glitter add-on, um, the tropical retreat mini kit, which is here. I have stock all over the place. <laughs> I, I think what I need to do is have like my storage bins that I pull my stock from and then have like separate like overstock stock just like in a box and I can like replenish it as I need to instead of just having it all here. Um, but yeah, so they got tropical retreat and Wait, that's the box add-on. I just pulled the wrong. I haven't ever done that for any of the others, no. Then we've got the glitter add-on, the sheet they actually ordered. Um, and that is everything. So 
I always put the add-ons like in with the kit so that it's easier to keep it all together. And then because they ordered in the sale, they get the World Stationery Day freebie, which you can't get anymore, but they're so cute. Then we can put it in an envelope with the invoice and then we are done. So the next order is one Doodle Oops bag and three kit add-on Oops bags. So we've got the Doodle Oops, some little Christmas trees on the front. And then we've got three of these, which are all like retired, like non-oops. Do I call them oops bags? They're grab bags, they're like non-oops, just like extra add-ons, because I have a load of add-ons for some reason. It's really hard to gauge like how many add-ons to stock because it like really varies what sells, especially for like older kits. I'm a bit better nowadays, but like when I like first introduced the box add-on, we had no idea how many to cut. So they wanted Cats Freebie, which is this one. And they got the National Station we gave Freebie. Then we put it in an envelope. But yeah, I was um, speaking to Joanne on voice messages earlier, Justine Bow Designs, and she reminded me that I haven't ordered grey bags in a while. So I'm hoping I have enough because otherwise I'm gonna have to go into the post office like with my mail, not in bags and be like, please can I have some bags? <laughs> Which I haven't ever done before, but I know they will let you do that. And we are done. So I am gonna leave the office for now and do some laptop work and then I'll see you in the morning um, when we will do premium mat. I don't know how much I'll show you because I probably just wanna get it done and then like go to the post office so that the orders are out of the way. But yeah, productive day. I'm glad I got all these packed. I'm cutting premium mat right now. I've made myself a very chaotic list. Um, which I was like happily working through. The cutter was being really good. Everything was going great. And then my printer started printing lines through everything. Um, I don't know how well you can actually see. So I've had to reprint a couple of sheets and I'm now out of sync because I'd printed them like in a nice order. So I'd got all of like page one together, all of page two. So I could just run them through the graph tech really quickly. And now I've had to like mess with my order and I'm using my other printer. Um, I'm hoping nothing is wrong with this printer. I think it might just need like a new print head. But I did print the, um, where is it? The test page where it does like, um, I don't know what it's called, the like print check page. And I've actually done 26,000 sheets on this printer, which is pretty unreal for me. They do tend to normally like clock out around 15,000 pages, like historically. Although I do print a bit differently nowadays because my theory was that it was the motor in the printer that was dying. Because how I used to cut was I would print and cut like two days a week. So I'd print one day, and then cut for like two days. So my printers were only being used one day a week and six days they were just sitting idle. And I read that it was actually better to print little and often, which is what I do now. And I really do think it has prolonged the life of my printer, um, but 26,000 pages, I reckon we are pushing it a little bit. So I may need to swap in a spare. I probably even have a spare. I've got one down here, which I thought was faulty and I actually don't think it is, but because that's been sat there for a few months, I'm not sure if it's like any good now. And then I've just got a few silhouette monthly kits to do. So I'll finish these off and we can finish the orders.
Good morning, it is Thursday. Oh, I need to read my tulips. So these ones are like going over a bit now, but look how pretty these are. I got um, like purple and yellow ones because I wasn't quite ready to replace these when I bought these because they're purple. <laughs> I couldn't not get them. So yeah, on a on a big tulip kick at the minute. And this is my new vase from Tesco. I need to change the water actually. And I've got um like old coppers. So I've got like a 2P and I think this is a 2P as well. From like before 1984, I think. And apparently that, that's meant to like help them. <laughs> so I don't know if that's true or not. And we've also got Mr. Stottle. Hello. Anyway, I've just started cutting in the other room, so I thought I'd come in here and chat to you. I've designed the other collection, it's called Villa, and it's very pretty, I think I showed you last night. So I'm gonna try and cut that today. My goal for trying to get a little bit ahead in the business is to try and do everything one day early. And then if I manage that, try and do everything one day early again, and eventually maybe I'll get a bit more ahead. I don't know, it might, in terms of like my day-to-day -day tasks, in terms of like, big projects and stuff i'm not gonna try and do those earlier than i need to or stress me out what's going on outside i don't know who that is um what was i saying i'm not too bad at getting projects done on time because like cat helps keep me on track <laughs> so we have like our notion and stuff and it's very useful but yeah i just want to like not be stressing out getting like new releases done because last week I didn't vlog so you didn't really like see the drama but I had my new releases cut well so we had issues with the cutter on Thursday night when I was trying to cut one of everything for photos which is classic me so I had to get up early on Friday and finish that then I realized that the hip hip hooray kit so like the green birthday one the green had been printing weird it basically printed like a mustard yellow which I quite like mustard yellow, but it was not the vibe for the kit. And on my computer screen, it was very green, like a lime green. So I had to tweak those colors. And it was also a case of tweaking the clip art colors. It wasn't just the one color that I chose. So I had to change all of the art, the patterns. Like I had to, oh, it was such a nightmare. And new releases were late because of that. And then, cause I'd already taken the photos when I realized it was only when I edited them that they looked really weird to me. And I was like, I can't release it how it is. So new releases were like, two to three hours late but if I'd done all that on the Thursday it wouldn't have been a thing so yeah I'm gonna get new releases the photos and listings done today and hopefully going forward I can like gradually bring that forward I don't know how much I want to bring it forward because if I do new releases too early I then get like behind on releasing new art so I don't know but definitely something I want to try and do at least one or two days and then the other thing that I wanted to do today maybe maybe I'll do it tomorrow is new albums so i didn't tell you guys this but i did mention it on the facebook group because someone asked me about when an album's being restocked basically i'm gonna get rid of all of the existing album designs <laughs> there's so many of them i can never keep them in stock because there's too many and it's 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 just impossible to try and even do a small amount of each of them i really need to streamline the designs the listings just everything with the albums because i've been releasing albums since like I want to say like 2018 I feel like I was either like the first person to have them in the UK or like very early it was a huge risk and I was so stressed about ordering them because I had to order a thousand I had no idea how well they would do so I've had them for a long 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 time and over that time I've just added more designs and never got rid of any and I think we just need to start again so I'm really sorry if your album design is disappearing but I'm gonna do a range of florals I'm so excited about it I think like my floral albums have always been my best sellers. When I did floral kits, they were super popular and it's the same kind of art. So I'm just gonna focus on florals. Each album size is gonna have every floral. So there will be like consistent ones if you do wanna match. If you wanna mix and match, they'll still match. Be well, they'll still be like uh, complementary because they're all gonna be florals. I just think it's gonna be a much more cohesive way to do it. And a lot of people do ask for like this album's design in another size and I can't do it but this way there will already be one so that's the plan I think I'm probably only going to do like six florals for now I wanted to do 12 and have like one for every month of the year but I one I don't think people need 12 new albums <laughs> and two it's kind of a lot of work if I've got three sizes I potentially have mini albums so I could do four sizes I don't know if I'll bother with minis but if I have them it seems a shame to not so I don't know but I need to do album designs on the graph tech, that's the thing basically. I need to get a file format working. 
I don't think it'll be too bad. I did check. I did check the sizes and I think the only one that's going to be different to how I do it on the silhouette will be the large album because large album I normally get the spine and one of the front stickers on one page and the back sticker on the other page but I think it will be a case of just doing the front sticker back sticker on two separate pages and having a sheet of spines but I'll see how I go with that but the reason I want to do that this week is because I want to release them next week and I'm going away on Friday to Berlin's with some planner friends I'm very excited um so I need to have it all done for Thursday which is probably why I need to get a day ahead now. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go and see what the cutter's doing. I just got some happy mail. I got my order from Gretel Creates from the World Stationery Day sale. So I'd ordered these dot pens. I actually got one of these, I think it was the blue one, um, in my Palantine's like goodie bag and I really like it. So how I'm using them is in my little journal I'm using it to make like a checklist. So this blue colour is the one I got free in my goodie bag but I wanted some more colours so that I can match my other spreads. So I got the mild colours, they're like a pastel rainbow so I thought that would be good for like probably the majority of my spreads. And then there was also a mild smoky which has kind of more like muted colours but I thought that was nice to have some different shade options. And she does have like individual pens as well but um, a lot of them are out of stock but she's going to the Midlands Planner Meet with me um, at the end of this month and hopefully she might have some back in stock. So I'm probably gonna pick up a bunch of those if they're available. But I just think they're so useful to make like uniform dots. Because what I had been using, the cutter's gonna make a noise. So this is the noisy bit while it feeds the sheet and then the cutting is not too bad. I'm trying to find a good example. Um, I basically have just been making a dot with like mild liners. So like, like here and I just want like a bigger dot so that's why I got those um oh I got some cute freebies I was going to show you there was a funny one um this little card and it says I'm not sure if I actually have free time or if I'm just forgetting something <laughs> which I feel like is a very relatable quote oh it has I assume this is a thank you very much in Welsh because she is based in Wales my granddad is Welsh I don't know any Welsh but that's nice <laughs> that they've got a little like nod to Wales there. Um, I got a couple of freebies in like a sampler swap type thing. So this is also from Gretel Grapes, but it says, I'm pretty sure I seized the wrong day, <laughs> which is really funny. Um, there's a little sampler from By Gem Designs. It's gonna focus on my face the whole time. From West Wind and Co, there's a little panda. Oh my God. From Wisporia, there's a little quote, a journaling quote that's really cute. Oh my god, this focus. Um, a low planning designs that create, don't hate. A little sample from Cute Stickers Only. Scribbles by Starlight. The Grumpy Tortoise. I don't know who this is from, but Grown Ass Sticker Collector is very apt. And uh, Cressida Rose Planners. This little pink sampler. So, um, I need to go and take my photos now. Well, I was in the middle of cleaning the office, so I'm probably gonna finish that. And then I'll take my photos. At the minute, I'm still cutting the stock. I'm onto mini kits. I've gotta do one more SVK. I've done the add-ons, apart from washi. So I'm nearly there in terms of having everything stocked, which is great.
also just dropped Aristotle off for his bath and tidy. He's not having a full groom today, just like a, a bath and tidy basically. Because I like when his fur gets a little bit longer. So I'm gonna head back now to the office, clean the kitchen this morning. So I was glad to get like something done before I had to leave. I like to put my appointments early in the day so they're out of the way. So I've got to go and get him in an hour. So I might just do some, I might collate the kits. I was going to design the albums, but I think if I can try and collate all the kits in an hour, that would be really good. So we'll give that a go. Well, it'll be less than an hour because I'm going to get back. So maybe like 45 minutes. So I've just got a bunch of albums out of storage. This is kind of like the last I've got of my albums now, but I need to count them to work out how many I can make for next week. And I also need this box because I'm trying to sell my silhouettes and they're so awkward to post. So I've sold one, but I haven't got a box for it. <laughs> so I'm having to take this one. So I've just posted my silhouette and I need to finish collating the kits. I think I was a bit optimistic, thinking that I would get it all done in like 40 minutes. I actually got one SVK collated and that was it. Cause like when I came home, I like had to finish trimming some sheets, made a drink, um, and then apparently the time was up. <laughs> so that's interesting actually, because I feel like my uh, like ability to estimate how long things take is really bad. So I really think I should try and time myself doing things and then I can plan better like how to fit things in. Mm, I, it's so much easier said than done though but yeah so I need to finish collating the kits um, and then I'm going to edit the vlog because what I'm going to do is end this vlog and then start a new vlog straight away and we'll have like an album vlog and that will be next week's vlog because everything will end a little bit sooner because I'm going away so I need to get it edited and stuff so we have just got the albums out of the garage um, I'll count those and figure out what I'm going to do but they're all going to be floral albums um, I don't know what floors yet. Kat suggested that I do the floors that were in the advent calendar. Um, I actually have some advent calendars left. <laughs> if you're interested in advent calendar in May, but they're on the website and they're reduced now. Um, but anyway, <laughs> Kat was like, why don't you do the advent calendar floors? And I was like, that's a really good idea because we could have 12, but I don't know if we need 12. <laughs> so I might sort of just take inspiration from those floors and also depends what kind of graphics I have of those floors because I bought a big bundle that's why I've got so many but it will just depend on what I find so it might be those but I'm only going to do I think I said I was going to do six but I'll count up my albums divide it by a reasonable amount per design and then I'll just do like however many designs I have enough albums of but yeah they will be floral and I'm so excited because I need a new album my kit album is like let me show you so this desk has not been tidy in a while but i tidied it yesterday and this is now the situation for my kit album because i only have one album of kits and i think the time has come that i need to have at least two albums and like try and organize them in a better way this is my new kit i got this from SPC for my birthday week because kat's using this for my birthday week because she i think she said this fashion girl looks like me and i agree so maybe when I have uh, blonde hair though, I don't think I have the different fashion girls. But anyway, I got this um, for my birthday week. And then I also got this in a D stash. I actually accidentally bought two. Uh, yeah, there's one behind. <laughs> because apparently I loved it so much that I forgot that I'd already got one. So I've got two of those. I might keep it though, because I really love this kit. And then uh, the rest is just like old kits that I hadn't put away. 
So I'm gonna have a new album myself, maybe even two new albums, not sure. And then these are this week's releases. I'm sure I showed you, but this is Villa Sunny Days with the Dalmatian and Tennis Champions, which is such a cool kit for Wimbledon. So these albums came out of the garage, so we did all of these, I think these are reusables um, and then I've got a few sort of in storage under here. I'm not really sure what's there, it's kind of random. So on that note, I'm going to leave this vlog here, but I really hope you enjoyed it. If you do want new albums, check out the shop next week, they'll be released on Friday at 12pm like usual. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!